वेलकम टू दी अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एब्सट्रैक्ट थीसिस सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी आर डिगिंग डीप इन टू दी पावर बी आई कंसेप्ट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर अवर न्यू वीडियो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दी न्यू वीडियो ऑफ एब्सट्रैक्ट थीसिस सीरीज एंड इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोट टू क्रिएट हाउ डू वी क्रिएट रोलिंग मेजर सो विच आई वॉन्ट टू है रोलिंग सम ऑफ लास्ट फ्यू डेज सो हाउ डू आई डू दैट ओके सो लेट्स जम्प ऑन टू द पावर बी आई इन स्टार्ट सो i am there on the power bi now and let me first of all uh, bring a very simple visual so i i have a date table and calendar table but calendar table is the one which is joined with my table so this is this is the one which is joined with my sales table and i have few majors which are already created on my sales table like net gross and all those okay and those of you who are following my series uh, you might have seen how i created those so let's go to the calendar table and bring in date here okay now let's bring in net also now very first thing which i want is i want the net to be you know rolled up for few days so very simple thing we can start let's say net roll up the data for two days last two days so that we can simply add it up and you know check it out also okay and then we can you know make it more and more now when we are rolling up thing which we are trying to do here is for the current date the data would be rolled up for few days what we are not trying here is you know if i give a date and i actually display certain days of data that is not we are displaying here we are just saying okay if today is let's say 26th of november in this case it should give me data for 25th and 26th okay something like that or if it is 27th it should give me 26 27 i want that okay so for that we are going to try out here so let's begin so what we are going to call we are going to make rolling to okay so we'll call it and and we will change the number of days once we create this formula so calculate simple major i'm going to use net major i have so in this net major i will use date in period dates in period is the function which i'm going to use and dates in period required first of all dates so continuous date so let's type date and calendar date which is the one start date so start date what i'm going to give here is the max of calendar date we take the date which is in the context in the current row and if it is not available in the context like if you give it without date what would happen is max date which is available are uh, using the slicer or the filters which will be taken if there is no date in the context that's the date going to, which is going to take okay and what happens if you have not given a filter it will reach to the maximum date which is available in the calendar okay so that's where it's going to reach now next is number of intervals so minus 2 i'm going to use and num days is the one interval which i want okay so now we got this rolling uh, major which is created with us and we drag it here rolling to now why i have done this basically so it should make uh, this sum very simple so this is basically I wanted to add these two, and you can, th uh, you know, you can see that you know six two three two is the one which number which is coming in, and that's the uh, this is the sum of these two. Okay, and let me bring in couple of decimal place on this one also net, so that let or let me make. Sorry, I just clicked somewhere. Okay, or let me make the rolling also a zero decimal place. okay so now it would be uh, ideally it should have been uh, 3 okay then because of the decimal place is not coming 3 so let's i think let's add one one decimal place that would be better okay so one decimal place here and one decimal place to net so fine so we we want to validate this number and then again sorting okay so 5 and 6 is 1 11 and then we have again Uh, five and six, eleven and twelve, two, and then we have another one, which is um, one, one, and carry one, which is three. Then we have nine and three and nine, which is two, twelve, and one carry, which is six. Okay. Now we have these two now, which are available with us. Now, if it is a rolling two, it should sum up these two. Okay. So it's there are more decimal places, so this is two. We 
in second decimal place is getting added up this should be seven that's seven then this should be eight this is eight this is five this is five and this is one carry three okay so only adding last two days okay and this is again 4000 then 6000 4000 approximately 10000 this is 4000 9000 approximately 13000 okay so numbers are only rolling through that's that's what we wanted to confirm here now sometime what happens you say i don't need uh rolling for two days for continuous these two days i need it from past two days means i don't want to consider today's date so what happens when we don't want to consider today's date so when we want to consider today's date, when it is days, it's very simple. I go and max, I say, I change my start date a day before. Now what is happening here is, so this, this, this is not included, so not previous two days. Now this, and this should be the sum here. So this, you remember this came 6,000. So these two, now it's getting here. Now these two came around 9,000, which is here. Now these two came around 10,000, which is here. These two came 30,000. So this is last two days. Okay. So very simple stuff now we get now you can seven days eight days 14 days whatever i want i just need simply go ahead and let's say i want seven days i simply go ahead and make it seven this is seven days till last day if i remove them this one then it becomes uh the so if i remove this this will include today's date okay and so this is one way last seven days and sometimes what you want last seven before seven okay so you say okay fine you roll but I want seven before seven okay so rolling seven before seven and to make it a bit easy to understand let's do rolling two before two okay so that we can at least able to understand and then we can make it seven and seven so okay so rolling two before two so minus two I will do and and then I want two days okay so before two should come and this rolling should be two okay so let's see this and rolling to before two okay so this is rolling to before two so this is on this date go two days behind and then take it so this is going to one of this date leave this date two days behind this date and this date two days uh, behind and then get it and then then we get this date okay here we go this date and this date we leave it and we go two days behind okay so this is six thousand two days behind this day and this day we leave two days we leave and these two sum this is six thousand and then we next date which is basically this is going to be nine thousand three this one and these one going to be ten thousand so two days so and if you even if you see here the total is basically two days behind here Okay, so this is two days and this is exactly two days after two days it's repeating. Now you know seven minus seven, seven minus seven. So these things you can try it out. Okay. 14 minus 14. This is very simple. Now sometimes what happens is you don't ask this, you say, okay, I actually need an average. Now you need average after the data has been added at the day level. So what happens if I take simple average? It's not going to work out for you. So very simple stuff we are going to do here is we take this rolling formula again for you. And I'm going to do, you say I need average. So one of the ways is divide it by two, which is not going to suffice. Sometimes what happens, let's say there are no two days. So if I say divide it by two, I say average rolling. And we are going to try out few things that, you know, you're sure that, you know, the is it the correct method or not? So I, I say this. Now, this is not correct on the first day. And there could be days where, you know, there are uh, jumps and all those. So this is not correct average. Divide by two. Okay, the another average which is also not going to be correct is if instead of this I take average of my net amount which I have. Let's see, we do we have a net amount or do we need we need to sum of net amount? Okay, average sales. Okay, so we don't have net amount. So what we can do is okay, let's take cross gross amount minus sum of discount not discount percentage discount amount Let's see do we have a discount amount or not oh, we can't do it inside the average so what we have to do is let me do one thing let me first create a net amount and then do the average or let's do it for gross let's say let's do it for gross amount average of gross amount we'll put a gross here not much difference 
cross it okay so let's call it cross average let's keep it really simple so this is your average gross rolling okay we 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 already have that okay let's not add it again okay so average gross rolling but let's let's bring in average rolling too also let so i'm going to make this as gross now okay and let me make this one also as gross so that we are seeing all the same numbers now what happens here is you, you this doesn't seems like an average because what's happening that average is coming from line level so that cannot be a true average of last two days uh, so what we actually need is basically uh, this should come as average of two days okay and so this is not so you might be surprised the number doesn't seem correct so instead of we uncheck the gross and uncheck the net and bring in gross so that you see the correct number okay so now this doesn't seems like average of two it at least doesn't seems like that so now to do that let's let's correct this image a little bit more now i'm going to take this again now this is one of the way and this is true when you are going to do it for month year and quarter also so don't use like this create average x and then give values month then month date then date quarter now right now we are talking about dates so till the dates keep on doing what you were doing so we are adding up in the cross so keep on adding till the dates and post that do an average okay so average is clear. and if you are not giving if you don't have a major here then write down the complete calculate sum of gross don't write out without uh, calculate in the x function you're not going to get okay so it's already there we create it as one okay it come here and now look at the difference so now first day you see the same number the second day look at this it, this it was 18,000 it become 9,200 and 26,000 this has become 30,000 only two days every time we are only getting two days so you just going to get three now when you get three days same four days divide by four five days now only when the data is available if the data is not available for one day it's automatically going to take care that it divides by that many lesser number of days okay so this is a much better average what you can do so another way is you even uh, now the, there are two questions only you can ask even if the day is not there i want to divide then simple divide it you don't need anything to, to be done for that then simple say it by seven by five by six by four as long as you know the number of days if you don't want to do that you want to know whatever number of days are available only for those days do the average then this is the matter now same thing can be done for months quarter and year also the formula will change a little bit means now when you do with month see the rolling will remain same so the rolling formula will remain same this is some instead of you will still start with the max but uh, instead of days you will say months so it's to start rolling months from the that particular date okay two months from that but this formula before has to change a little bit because we can't subtract this number two so if we are talking about end of month versus end of month, it is very easy. We can move out to EO month. So we will take up that into another video where we try to move across months and try to see, you know, how can we get rolling to for the months? Okay. So thanks for watching this video. Do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.